that a lawnmower? I think it is. Which is a good theme for this week's course. The Lynx at Lighthouse Sound. Ah! Cue the evil music. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to keep this one short. Because this was an adventure. And I don't want to go into graphic detail. I'm going to stick to the facts. The course is 7,051 yards on the back tees. It is a slope 144 course on the back tees. And I shot a 132. <laughs> a marvelous 132 on this course. I have a, a few excuses. The first one is it was approximately 20 to 30 mile an hour winds gusting, blowing in off the shore. This course is right just west of Ocean City across the little inlet there between Ocean City and, and the mainland, the, the center part of Ocean City. And it's on the marshes. It's out, out there. Not quite out there because Ocean City obviously borders it to the right, uh, east, I should say, but it's still out there. It's a good three hour drive from Bowie. You know, it's out there. It's a ways out there. And, um, I would just say this. Let's just, I want to summarize this, but I, I'm going to try not to make it too short, but let's put it this way. Half the course is sort of a neighborhood course with a lot of houses. Very large houses and very close to courses. OB just off the fairway and stuff on just on the other side of Carpath. One of those classic cases. Carpath just off the fairway and then OB just off the Carpath and then houses, backyards, bushes and, and big houses, not small houses, big, you know, sizable houses just past the OB. And also it's on the water. On the marshland, so there's a lot of marshes and, and waste and stuff in a lot of the houses. And, and when you combine that with the wind, it's all very tight and very challenging to play. And I will say holes um, 1 through 8 and 18 are pretty much like that. Um, even hole 1 and 8, uh, which are straightaway par 4s from the clubhouse, have a row of houses behind them, behind the green. There's a... The green, then about 20 or 30 yards at the most, and then there's a road, and then there's another row of houses that you're you're hitting at behind the uh, green. And you can't see the road from the fairway, so it's it's not too hard, if you're not careful about the yardage, to um, put it in the street. Of course, has the carts with the uh, GPS yardage, so there are no yardage markers on the fairway. There is only a uh, set of little discs on the cart path as a reference other than the um, the GPS monitor. And that is not quite enough on a number of the holes on the front side because you can't see a lot of the fairway because of the waist, especially from the back tees. You can only see, you know, spots of the fairway and stuff and you have to kind of, you know, triangulate between the GPS course map and what you can see out there. And, but I will say that some of the holes are very long from the back tees. There's a lot of waste. There's a lot of, when there's a lot of wind, it's a challenge to put the ball in play on holes one through eight, which are essentially the front side of the course. I lost eight balls. I scored a plus 33 on those eight holes. And I had fun. They were, they were interesting holes. They were fun holes. It did get a little bit busy out there because, um, there were people playing the, there were girls playing the front tees and there were guys playing the back tees and stuff and all in the middle. And, um, it's a, somewhat of a challenge, but I had fun playing those holes. Now, I want to just say that it was a three to four hour drive out there and it was $70 to play after two o'clock with a cart and the horse does not have the ninth hole near the clubhouse. The ninth hole is actually on the far, like about a half mile away from the clubhouse over a huge marsh. And they have actually two carts, two refreshment carts, one that runs around on the front side, one that runs around in the back, at least until some reasonable time. So the back uh, 10 or nine, I should say, from nine to 17, nine through 17, are more of a standard woods course, no houses. You're out there, 
fairly secluded. There are a couple of holes that are back and forth, but mostly fairly secluded. A lot of the holes, about half of them, you're pretty much you know by yourself playing, and it's pretty cool, normal type wood styles course with a little bit more wind protection, but more marsh, more waste, and um, a good challenge, but not nearly as challenging as the first two through seven, I would say. Not nearly as challenging. Uh, the course has a lot of uphill greens, elevated greens, and some elevated tees, but there's not a lot of verticality. It really does rely heavily on the waste and water and wind and out of bounds to um, give you some peril. The greens are elevated enough so that you do see enough swales and rough playing out of the swales so it's a challenge but it's not i don't think it's really that much of a i don't think it's that difficult of course except for number seven from the back tees because it's two 275 at least a carry from the back tees to the fairway and uh, i would try to reach it and uh, lost three balls on that um there's also a fair amount of lakes and ponds and stuff in play from the tees and I lost uh, two balls on 15 inadvertently pulling shots into the lake. And then I had the same, pretty much the same shot on number 18. And also on one and eight is fairly similar shot. And I got through all these without losing balls. So it just, I just got kind of like a little aggressive on number 15, 430 yard par four and put a couple balls in the lake that um, I just kind of pulled left straight down the middle of the lake. So other than number seven, I don't think there's anything on the course that was really too much trouble. But it isn't easy. And if you're not careful trying to chip out of that rough or trying to chip even off the fairway to these elevated greens, you can hit yourself into some trouble. And so I think that's a good description of what happened here. I, I can read off my scorecard and see that I had high scores in getting to the green on um, four and six and seven. Between those three holes, I lost seven lost balls. And on the backside, I had uh, high scores in getting to the green on 10, 15, and kind of 18 because at 18, I think I was on, I bounced off the green and went off the back and then to chip back up. So um, those were definitely uh, interesting holes. Although I wouldn't say that they were that much easier. It's just that I didn't play them as well as I did the other holes, which were just about as difficult. On the back side, I was plus, I think, plus 19. And on the front, I was plus 36. So I wouldn't say it's really outrageously difficult, but it is a challenge. I wouldn't say the course is really outrageously great. But it is a nice course. The clubhouse is definitely nice. They have a really nice dining area. They have a decent bar. I didn't see a shower in there, but there supposedly is this door that says, you know, locker room stairway. So maybe the upstairs on that course and a few other courses I may have looked at earlier, uh, have, they have a locker room upstairs or something or a sauna or something up there, but it's just not open to normal guests or paying you know people off the street, let's say. But in any case, it's a decent place. It has decent views. It's close to Ocean City. That's a plus and a minus. It certainly has, if not greenies, it definitely has brownies. You know, the greenies are the really aggressive flies they have in, on the beach in New Jersey that will bite the hell out of you. They're just like, you know, piranha fish flies. And in Ocean City, they're not, especially in the marshlands, I guess they're not quite as biting I didn't get bitten, but I did use bug spray, but I didn't get bitten. But those bugs are definitely annoying. They're like all in your face and flying around and stuff and, and a pain in the butt. But they didn't bite me at least, so I can't say they were that bad. But overall, nice balcony, nice, you know, relaxing place to, to sit down. It was humid as hell at the end of the round after the wind stopped. But it was a decent place, a decent round. I just think it was maybe... You know, unfortunately, I caught some traffic coming back from, you know, there was a guy that drove off, the, literally off the road and was, there was a good half mile backup behind it, right where Route 
50 goes into Route 301 was a backup. As as we passed by and saw these seven or eight guys standing around watching, um, trying to figure out how to get this truck. It looked like a good-sized truck back on the road. Then the bridge was shut down to one lane, so that was another backup there. But it, it was a good three- or four-hour drive there and a four-hour drive back. Can't really say much more than that. It's Ocean City. You know, you know the deal. So it was a good round. I enjoyed the course. I certainly, despite the fact that there were so many big houses on the course and the occasional guy playing a stereo and stuff, you know, out of his house. I enjoyed the round. It was a fun challenge. Even with the wind, it was fun. I had a good time playing it. It was definitely a outing. It was a 12 hour outing by the time I left downtown to the time I got there, played around and came back. It was. 12 o'clock midnight but was it worth it it was different i got out of town i got some air got to see this the sea got to the beach went through ocean city and i played golf and you know not bad i would say if that's you have a day to go and play or you're out there or something it's a good course to go out and try that is Gonna get it a B plus rating, and I would give it a B plus on the bottom end of the curve for B plus. But it definitely was a nice course, a good challenge, and I can't short it on that at all. A little bit expensive, a you know seventy bucks, but you know, all in all, it was it was good for an outing. It's certainly a challenge. There's no question the course was a challenge. The greens were in good shape. Fairways were in decent enough shape, and the, the rough was in good shape. The course layout was definitely a challenge, and chipping up on those elevated greens was a challenge, and certainly driving those fairways was a challenge. All in all, it was a solid challenge of golf, and I have to give it at least a B plus. Plus, it had nice, you know, nice enough views of of the the um the bay and Atlantic, I mean, Ocean City and stuff. Not bad at all. Not at all, and. I, I give it a deserved B plus, but barely a B plus altogether. That is the Lynx at Lighthouse Sound in, it is called Bishopville, Maryland, but it's really just Western Ocean City. I mean, it's, it's just west of Ocean City. No question about it. A good B plus course. Enjoyed the round. And I hope if you get a chance to go out there and play it, you'll try it. Trust me, it has all the positives of a neighborhood's woods course and all the negatives. Good B-plus course.